or Hungarians are not a mixed race and do not want to become one. By definition, Hungarians are a mixed race. Huns and Avars, Majors and Slavs. This guy is ethno-nationalist supreme. I was gonna make a joke about how he'd feel right at home with the GOP and then found out he's the keynote speaker at the upcoming CAC conference. Any time you claim to be a pure race, there's always going to be someone who isn't, someone who is but is considered pure, someone who looks the part but is excluded, someone who does look the part but is included, and on and on. Race purity does exist. We're all a mixed bag of horny ancestors that got into bed with whoever was around at the time. This guy is ethno-nationalist supreme. Those are the ones that are the same as the regular ethno-nationalists, but they have sour cream, a couple of tomato green onion bits sprinkled on top, right? In part Hungarian and me grandma always said we came from peasant stock. Avars, majors, Slavs, and Vlax Romanians. Perfect answer. Everyone should learn a little about world history. There is no such thing as a not mixed race. Says the European nation full of blonde people with a Turkic background and an Uralic language. They aren't even all blonde. My dad had sort of Asian features with straight black hair. He's as pure Hungarian as they come. No one in Europe can claim to be pure blood. Shit no one in the world can really. Finally, the comment I was looking for. But we're pure blood. Not the nation said it. Just Orban. Orban rejects Western European ideas, but he takes their money. Not much longer if everything works out. Ethnic nationalism rears its ugly head again in Europe. Haven't they learned anything from the breakup of Yugoslavia? Green is apparently the only color he likes. Deleted. Maybe he should hand the power over to someone who will actually improve the lives of Hungarians, Jim. All those ballots that turned up in bonfires at the side of the road and in Polish landfill sites show that the population trust him so much they don't want anyone else in power. Horse. Besides, most Hungarians haven't been to church since their own christening at birth. No one I've come across is anywhere near as devoutly religious, if religious at all, as he talks about. I'm Hungarian. To add to that, I know exactly one person who regularly visits churches. I know two more maybe who believe in the Christian God. Everyone else either dosed or dosed give a shit. The explosive dare he coming out of all media outlets absolutely do not represent the needs or wants of the people in general. Orm Dost even understand his own people. He understands his people to the extent Hitler did. That he can stoke the fires of nationalism and take advantage of them. My family is from Hungary, and both sides look completely different from one another, and have last names exactly like this. The early 2000s have basically been all about the rebirth of fascism on an international scale. Trump, Putin, Haksai, or Bolsonaro. It's just a big network of right-wing religious or racial purity authoritarians. Religion in the West is mostly just for people who want to oppress others, while dumping the responsibility for that desire off their own shoulders. It's not me, it's God. Passing the buck, as we say in the States. The thing is, they cherry. Pick what they want out of scripture and the subsequent church teachings, to suit their own tastes. So it's never the word of God, it's the word of them. Orban and his mafia only understands theft and corruption. Theft and it's very sad that the EU has been putting up with them only because of the cheap factory workers the country provides. As a Hungarian, let me just give you guys a short breakdown of Hungarian history. 
we used to be on a matic mounted people from inner asia who slowly during the early to high middle ages migrated into eastern europe and settled in the great vale of the carpathian mountains for a time we were part of the khazar empire and intermingled with them the first mentions in european chronicles describe as a short swarthy people kind of like the mongols when we arrived here we found slavic peoples already living in the carpathian valley that we intermingled with after we subjugated them after a short period of being a big pain in europe's ass with our constant raiding the country was baptized into western catholicism and a bunch of germans were invited into the country and we intermingled with them big time jump we accept a lot of groups of eastern nomads into our country establish and cultural friendship and alliance with the poles intermingling of course conquer the southern mountains and the seaside of the adrian sea intermingling with the native slavic peoples later in our history hungary is partly conquered by the ottomans becoming the frontier of the conflict between the ottoman and the holy roman empire a lot of intermingling with the turks huge cultural influence especially in our bath culture and general architecture bigger time jump the turks are driven out hungary becomes part of the habsburg empire being alone in the most diverse dominion lot of intermingling after the second world war we're siding with hitler did work out for us that hot funnily we never learn and still today side with the morally abhorrent side we became a soviet proxy state intermingling with the soviet peoples i must note that this is an incredibly simplified version of our history hungary is over a one thousand years old and it had been a batchet crazy ride i encourage everyone to look our history up it is at least interesting to read about the claim that we err in any way up here or non mixed race is so monstrously false that it can only be uttered by a delusional nazi edit not kazakh but kazar sorry for the misnomer another case of major intermingling i easy into this it's a during the middle ages the cumans a steppe people were devastated by the expansion of the mongol empire tens of thousands of cuman refugees were settled in hungary in return for converting to catholicism and pledging military service to the hungarian king if i recall at least one cuman princess married into the hungarian royal family eventually the cumans faded from history because like the other groups you mentioned they just mixed together with the hungarian population sounds like there was a lot of intermingling fascists don't care about facts and only care about history enough to make up their own twisted version that has a grain of truth which fits the narrative to all people are mixed race the only pure people inbred themselves out of evolution millennia ago while the rest of the world fought and fucked their way into hundreds of different cultures the very idea of preserving a race is asinine complicated cycles of reproduction brought the world to where it was and you can't just decide to stop the complexity biology is defined by change over time if you stop the change you'll be lost to toe time my only nitpick with this great explanation is we hungarians are actually so mixed that hitler said in mean camp that we were going to also be exterminated eventually my hungarian grandfather had no patience in wife or nazi sympathizers because it was pretty clear they hated us too as an american with a hungarian surname this has taught me more than twenty-three ever could granted it's been fifteen years since he visited hungary right before it implemented stenj and i highly considered studying mathematics in budapest later on during university but it did work out but everything I remember learning about Hungary involved it intermingling with a lot of different cultures over its history, like you said. I also remember being told that it had somewhat the reputation of being the most accessible of any Soviet proxy states for Americans and for being the first to really open its border with the West in 1989.
it's sad seeing such an immensely beautiful country traveling down such a problematic path kazakh here who boy easy there there was no such thing as kazakh empire if you are talking about migration of tribes from asia in five hundred peb then there were scythians and sarmatians very distant parents of kazakhs or maybe you are talking about tenth and eleventh century when Tatars came to Europe. Tatars were one of the Turkic nations and they had an empire called Cumania. That's kinda close to Kazakhs, but still very far away. Then Mongols came, Golden Horde was created, and from the ashes of Golden Horde, Kazakh Khanate was created. Kazakh Khanate was initially a group of Rogu tribes of Mogulistan that decided to be free and create their own country. Later, more tribes joined. More Kazakhs are basically a group of tribes, sometimes looking very differently from each other. Orban sure looks like his genie pool could have used some intermingling. This was such a great read. Thank you for the brief history. It was fascinating. Thanks for this. It's a great quick history ride. One other thing I think is necessary to point out is that the approximately, approximately, vale, approximately, approximately pale is the area where many Central or Eastern European countries sent their unwanted groups, particularly Jews, when it was politically beneficial. My own family came mostly from Norway, but one branch was Central or Eastern European Jewish, and after the Russians forced them from their homes and were essentially enslaved in the pale, they could own any land. Any food they grew was confiscated. People starving everywhere that branch said fuck it, moved north and then somehow made passage to America and settled with other Nordic people in Minnesota. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of details about this time, although I can't imagine much of it was good anyhow. I did learn quite a bit from the National Geographic DA project they ran a few years ago but recently closed down. My background was essentially 75 Nordic and 25 Middle Eastern or Eastern Europe Jewish, and the locations were stable for a very long time until about 1700. 1800 when the 25 was moved into the Pale, which I had never even heard of until then. Sounded like me ancestors were lucky to get out alive as the Germans, Poles, Russians, etc. all considered us less than human. Edit originally had the place named as the veil because i'm a dummy luckily you or utter tomfoolery corrected me below good summary my family is jewish hungarian with some non jewish hungarian because there was some anyone anyone inter i used to live in hungary and took a cultural history class when i was there I remember her saying that the Hungarian identity is largely commitment to the Hungarian language more than any other factor race, religion, belief systems. None of that really matters since racism is about looks. If all of those genotypes average out to a somewhat white phenotype, your seat at the Grand Wizard's table is waiting for you. When you think about it, racism is actually pretty inclusive. I was gonna bring up the discovery that in my family tree is a black person. Im Irish white as snow to the point of turning into a tomato every summer. And point out that if you go back far enough everyone's mixed raced, but you nailed it perfectly. I think they mean non-white anyways. In Finland they teach that you ear Finns though. My wife and her family are descended from Hungarians and they look Eastern FS babies, then more and more European as they mature into adults. I'm glad you said this because I was in Hungary and got to talking with some locals and they literally said the Hungarian people are a mix of everything. We come from all over. It was surprising to say the least, to then see Orb say the exact opposite. And these people were quite pro. Or, as a Hungarian, American, I am most definitely white. But damn if people don't give us anywhere from Hispanic to Eastern European to half. Korean when they treat to give me ancestry. 
Now I have a better understanding of why that is. Thank you. Thank ye, so maybe you can also explain how the fuck do you vote this piece of shit into the office time and time again. In Ksech we have our own idiots, but Orban is probably the biggest piece of shit in the whole Europe. It's the same story for literally every race and culture. This is why the idea of cultural appropriation completely bullshit you can't just up and decide that social evolution has to stop just because it makes you but third that people want to incorporate other cultures into their own. Diversity is beautiful. Also, there is no scientific basis for race. We are all the same. The uh, this are all the or Orin, Wikipedia, org or wiki or race and genetics, approximately. Text there twenty is twenty bra twenty consensus twenty across. Genetic twenty coda twenty with twenty in a twenty another. As a Hungarian with such ancestry and German names lower on the family tree that might as well be German or Jewish for all we know. I can't help but feel ashamed for this forced chase for a non existing racial purity in the 21st century, even. I was laughing non stop reading your comment. Thanks for that. Thank you so much for this rundown. It's always great to learn more history, and I was woefully unaware of Hungarian history. This sheds a lot of light on what Orb is saying and makes me really sad that there are so many world leaders that have these views. I have Greek ancestry, and this feels exactly the same as conversations with my family back in Greece. We are pure-blood Greeks, they'd say. Ak uncle. So for the 400 years the Turks ruled Greece, they just masturbated all the time. Right. Did have sex, or make children with anyone over the course of 400 years. Ock there. there. What? The great major tribes were of multiple ethnicities and even were lead under one rule. And interbreed heavily with the Slavic population. A Hungarian is a mix that came into existence after the Magyars invaded and brought with the language. The Magyar left a small genetic signature, but most Hungarians have very little Magyarigna. The current Hungarian genetic mix has been somewhat stable since the migration period with normal amounts of admixture with their neighbors. At any point in time a people group can make an arbitrary distinction, which is what's happening here, to reduce admixture. Others move to increase admixture through immigration. This is another option. My point is, Every race or people group is mixed from earlier distinct groups, and yet they can also make a new distinct group by going through a period of relative genetic isolation. Ye realize it's kind of like no one is own race after doing some history homework. People like me, Orban, suck. Hull. Hungary in its modern post. 1946. Borders roughly corresponds to the Great Hungarian Plain, the Pannonian Basin. During the Iron Age, it was located at the crossroads between the cultural spheres of the Celtic tribes such as the Scordisci, Boy and Veneti, Dalmatian tribes such as the Dalmata, Histri and Liberni, and the Germanic tribes such as the Lugia and Marcomanni. And all these tribes are crushed mercilessly in Rome a total war. Ye. In 2,000 years, the Pannonian Plain has changed hands about five or six times. I think the majors showed up in what? 900-ish ad or so. Also Turkic tribes, Avars and Huns. Ya yeah, Hungary had been a swirling pot of inter. Mixed peoples for thousands of years. Kinda weird to take this attitude. Or also weird when people believe him. You are expecting a white supremacist proto-fascist to conform to facts. But you do not argue with people like this, you deplatform them. Plenty of Jews later on, too. A Hungarian I know took a na test that came back as about 15 Jewish. The founding king of Hungary, Saint Stephen A., front face of Orm's national romanticist propaganda, wrote the following.
because our kingdom where only one language is spoken and only one custom is followed is weak and fragile also during the Hanfavlals, there was a great tribe called black hungarians the cobbers who reportedly had pretty dark complexion my mind immediately went to the black numenorians of umber they might even be featured in the upcoming fit show dude miss day one of hungarian history they literally are though does he not know anything about hungarian history does he think the people living there before the majors arrived simply disappeared history and facts don't matter too much to fascists he is just mainly talking about black indian and muslim immigrants he does not want them intermixing with them because his racist as fuck look how europe has historically treated romani or gypsy peoples of india is he really that uneducated or just neglecting reality definitely neglecting reality the biggest mistake you can make is believing a fascist is just some stupid bumpkin they are incredibly calculated and very well aware of what they are saying what they are <laughs> Facts mean nothing if enough people take them at their word. He knows the facts, but he also knows that his follower don't know the facts. So that's why PAC is happening in Hungary this year. Sounds like he knows literally nothing about his country's history, and is just trying to pander to racists. But okay. The Mongols air laughing. It is a deep, throaty laugh. Or... I am a racist who knows nothing about the history of my own country, and I don't care. Oh, he knows. He is talking to his base. The entirety of Austria. Oh, really? You sure don't look very finno. Ugrit told us for the last few hundred years, for the year. Ironically, they literally wear as most modern Hungarians are descendants of Central Asian steppe nomads called the Majors, which migrated to what was then called Avaria in the Danubian Basin. Modern Hungarians are a mix between those people and local European ethnic groups. The greatest claim Hungary has ever had was over 100 years ago as Austro-Hungarians. Imagine having this kind of hubris when you've fallen this far from the top. Hungary was once a great kingdom, but shit fell apart in the 1520s. Also a state that was heavily multi-ethnic lol. The kingdoms of Hungary top the uh, empire in terms of Mike Funny Thingis, the founding king of Hungary, Saint Stephen I, who is the front face of Orm's national romanticist propaganda, wrote the following. Because our kingdom where only one language is spoken and only one custom is followed is weak and fragile. Since Wutu, we have the largest migration waves in the world that happened in Europe, which basically turns every country in Europe into a monophonic nation. State. The most extraordinary example would be Kaliningrad, which used to be called East Prussia and now only zero. Four of its residents are German ethnics. Bring back Matthias Corvinus. So, did Arped's majors mingle with local Slavs and Celts to create Hungary? Anyone claiming themselves as pure in 2022 is simply ignorant. I love it when fascists confuse cultural identity with genetic race. As a Hungarian, I can definitely confirm we a mixed race. My family has never cared who married who or what they looked like. 
Dot let this giant Dutch define Hungarians ex jitter. My brother in Christ, you yourself air mixed as fuckelma. The Huns would like a word. They are not the Huns, they are the majors. Aren't Hungarians literally just a random hodgepodge of everyone who has ever conquered Central Europe, which, if my history is correct, is pretty much everyone ever? Yes, but then that's pretty much everyone's origin. It's just a matter of how far back you go.